Where are those two? What took you guys so long? Broomstick League! online multiplayer sports game where players take up a broom and a wand to see which team is better at shooting a ball into a hoop. Yeah, think Rocket League meets Harry Potter, although this isn't an official Harry Potter game. At time of review, it's still in early access, so these are just our first impressions. At the moment, there are three game modes. 3v3, 2v2 and 1v1, which you can play against a mix of bots and real players depending on how busy the servers are. Your team's goal is to dominate the field and score as many shots as you can before the clock runs out. Which I'll note, I would already struggle to do if we were on solid ground. <laughs> yeah, being in the air adds a whole other layer of difficulty as you try and zip around your opponents to get your hands on that dastardly ball. You can cast a magnetism spell that'll bring the ball to you if you're close enough, but outside of the tutorial, I felt it rarely, if ever, actually worked. What's the point if it doesn't work? I assume that's partly because every man and their dog is trying to cast that at the same time, which I hope they can balance better come full release. Depending on your playstyle, though, you may find yourself using more aggressive tactics. Going after opponents with blasting spells can launch the ball out of their grasp and give your team a chance to turn the tide. There are no assigned positions, so it's kind of cool to see that in most matches, everyone on my team, without saying a word to each other, just naturally fell into the role of either a goalie defending the rings, a chaser blinking their way across the pitch, or a fielder just waiting for their turn to swoop in and make a shot. Oh, Gem, it really made me feel like I was part of a sports team. I saw a lot of that too, just never on my team. I would have liked to see some more skill-based matchmaking here. Sometimes you'd have a nice balance of beginner and experienced players, but often I felt like I was competing against people that had been here since the beginning, honing their skills. For some, that could be motivating, seeing the level you can get to if you practice hard enough. But I would have liked a bit more balance, so it didn't feel like every match I was just hitting a brick wall. Mm, you can play practice matches against bots, but bots don't have the same kind of quick thinking and erratic energy that human players have. So it can make you think that you're better at the game than you actually are. That's me. It is utter chaos out there. Everyone zipping around and casting spells. And you still have to keep track of that ball. It's all too easy to get turned around and lose focus. That's not to say I wasn't having fun, but it just felt messy without something like the tracking camera that Rocket League uses. That camera is really good. The actual playing fields, though, feel anything but messy. The epic backdrops to intense battles. I especially liked the one with the big octopus thing under the ice. I really felt like a wizarding wonder out there, and it made me want to keep playing just to live out that little fantasy. There are adjustments that need to be made, but I'm excited to see where the devs take it. I'm just really curious to see how far they can run with this idea, because it's such a good one, and I think there's a lot of potential and appeal. I'd just like to see a bit more balance and polish across the board. Because who doesn't love a spot of magic? Speaking of which, fancy another round? You're on. Up! Woo, let's go!